letting what? that on Lenora. Get away from me! Leave me alone! <coughs> oh, you do? Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? Well, you're not gonna get them. Just get away! Oh, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Jesus, bring me a candle, it's Hanukkah! Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is that you, Betty? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, miss. Would you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? <laughs> Thank you much. <coughs> I'm going to have to go pick up some hooch. <laughs> For medicinal purposes, you know. <laughs> now, I know you ain't going to believe old Bill, because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened. And people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. was a monster, you see. A monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before, still giving me bad dreams. He grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place, the dark place. <laughs> oh, God. The smell. Worse than anything I've and then he bit me. My neck. Oh, God. It was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <coughs> Haven't been feeling too well since then. <coughs> Came up through the sewers, he did. Just around the corner there. <coughs> Don't want to go back to the bed, please, friend. <coughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there.
down here, did you? <laughs> Following the smell of entrails <laughs> and rotting flesh. Looking for a free meal, little bloodsucker. There's meat galore in my kingdom. Brother Canker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot-ridden mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. They are the weak. Sick. Hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the vessels of darkness. Carrying the diseased truth in their veins. <laughs> the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come, join us in these last nights. Spreading our disease upon the earth. Sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> The doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss. The terrible mysteries of the ninth circle held. Come, join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh!
Seriously, fuck, you got a lot of nerve showing up here, Lick. You fingered nines. Said he killed a goddamn primogen. I'm willing to believe you are a patsy in all this, but I'll be watching you, boy. Don't expect to see him until this bullshit is resolved. Hey, I said. Right on. Except we dusted a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. Listen, kid, you did what you had to do. Just a messenger, right? Don't worry about Skelter. He's like all these big barking pups nowadays. They don't fight unless they get cornered. I hear Nine's got words. I'd wager he's gonna be laying low for a while. It's a ruse by LaCroix, so you can call the blood hunt on Nine. Standard smear job, textbook candy bullshit. Yeah, sure, but there's packs of youngsters out there who'd love to make a name by bringing in the head of Nines Rodriguez. <laughs> You're just eager to please, ain't you? I could give a goddamn kid, but I'm sure the boys here would appreciate it if you kept the business as usual. You hear me? Just a second. I heard you were down poking around the museum. Kid, you don't live to be as old as me without cultivating a few connections. The least of which should be able to penetrate the iron veil of the local natural history museum. <laughs> Seems like he has a lot riding on that sarcophagus. He gets such a fierce bug in that powdered wig of his. I got another scenario for you here, kiddo. I'm gonna bounce it off you, see what you think. You ever hear of, uh, Diablerie? Well, it's when a vampire drains another more powerful vampire to death. Diablerie is the Sabbat specialty, but it's a big taboo in civilized kindred circles, and damn sure forbidden by the Camarilla. When a younger vampire diabolizes an elder, the younger vampire gains all of their powers. The prince is willing to tear L.A. apart to find this thing so he can have it. Why? What would a power-hungry vampire like LaCroix want with a sleeping ancient? I wonder... You gotta figure a drop of ancient blood would make any kindred just about invulnerable. Anyone who has a sarcophagus is gonna be thinking the same thing. If LaCroix gets a sarcophagus, at least we know where it is. Besides, getting the sarcophagus and getting into it are two different things. Sure thing, kiddo, fire away. Oh, my favorite topic. Don't think that Camarilla has a monopoly on those ideals, okay, kid? No one is arguing over that shit, and if they tell you that's what this fight is all about, then they're really giving you the full fist. You hear me? The Camarilla protects the people running the Camarilla. That's it, the end. The rest of them are bloody gristle for the machine. Doddering old dust farts. They might be powerful as all hell, but who knows? They're too afraid to stick their heads out of their hidey holes. And why should they? This whole huge system is built so they don't have to. Ah, not one of the bigs, but he ain't out risking his ass in the street, that's for sure. 
Roy has ambitions of joining that inner circle, delivering Los Angeles in their pocket with a killer on a resume. Out of hell with McCoy. I blasted better vampire's brains all over the wall. He's not the prince, he's a prince. He's a typical Ventrue asshole. Predictable, safe, no imagination. Ah, man, the guy's a pussy. He just got lucky he showed up in L.A. at the right time. I'm not saying he's stupid. He's just an asshole who needs his teeth kicked in. That's all. Oh, the sheriff, yeah. I love how everyone's talking about that big mystery. It's like someone embraced a doped-up gorilla. I'm not saying let's go towards the Malkavian living under the abandoned hotel because she happens to be a Camarilla. I'm saying let's change that shit from the top down. Camarilla membership is 95% victims, 5% evil bastards. But make sure and understand, any of those victims points a gun at me, they get drained and slaughtered like sheep. 